How's it going, people? I'm back for another 50 questions. Let's find out what's wrong with me. Or what's wrong with Scientology. It's one or the other. Maybe both. Alright, let's see. Question 51. Can you start the ball rolling at a social gathering? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't really do a lot of social gatherings. So, eh, it's not really my thing. I think I could do it if I had to, I suppose. Uh, 52. Would you buy on credit with the hope that you can keep up the payments? I went down that road <laughs> a long time ago. I don't do that anymore. Nope, I was buried in debt for like 20 years and I got myself out. Now I got money in the bank couple of IRAs and I'm doing good and that's because I don't buy many things on credit anymore so uh, not too crazy about buying things on credit I'd rather wait till they have the money delayed gratification as I said self-discipline all right 53 do you get an after reaction when something unexpected such as an accident or other disturbing incident takes place yeah sure I guess we all do you know you get to shake sometimes after the whole point is how do you handle it when the when the incidents happening and that's usually when I can I, I, I wait to react later you know to fall apart and get all nervous First, got to take care of business. So, yeah, I don't usually have that physical reaction during a crisis with all that, you know, with all the adrenaline and everything going on. But later on, I guess there's like an adrenaline feedback and you get the shakes and get nervous. I think it's natural. 54. Do you consider the good of all concern rather than your own personal advantages? Yeah, sometimes. Depends on circumstances. 55. When hearing a lecturer, do you sometimes experience the idea that the speaker is referring entirely to you? Nah. No, I've never had that experience. 56. Does external noise rarely interfere with your concentration? Uh, sometimes it rarely. Huh? Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm used to working around a lot of noise, but yeah, it can mess with your concentration, I guess. And I think it does. All right. 57. Are you usually up to date on everyday affairs? Afraid not. Canceled my cable, canceled my internet, <laughs> and uh, I'm not as up on things as I used to be. But I'm happier and I'm saving a lot of money, which I'm paying back to myself by putting it in the bank. You know, I. I don't know why I'm keeping all this money. I need to give it to these guys. They'll clear the world with it <laughs> of all surplus money all right no but said I'm selfishly keeping my own money <laughs> and I'm not up to date on everyday affairs I used to be a lot more up to date than I am I look forward to being up to date again someday 58 can you confidently plan and work towards carrying out an event in six months time yeah, head start like that, I guess so. Depends on the event and what kind of preparations we need. We're talking about how big is this event? But it's six months for an event. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Fifty-nine. Do you consider the modern prisons without bars system doomed to failure? They got prisons without bars. 
What's the fun in that? Uh, I don't know. I guess put that down under maybe. I don't really know. Uh, hey, if it works, it's great. I, I don't have a problem with it. It just, I don't know. Hadn't thought about it. Yeah, let's move on. All right. 60. Do you tend to be careless? Uh, sometimes. But usually I'm pretty careful. I'm full of care. All right. 61. Do you ever get a dreamlike feeling towards life when it all seems unreal? Life seems real. You know, this, I can feel this chair. <laughs> I can feel the ground. That's real. When does life feel unreal? Uh, no, I don't think so. I've had some weird events happen where I go, whoa, that was trippy. But it still felt real. It never felt like a dream. All right. Sounds fun, though. I, look, I, I hope I can experience that someday. All right. 62. Do you speedily recover from the effects of bad news? Yes, sometimes. Depends on the nature of this bad news. I mean, is it devastatingly bad news or is it, uh, you know, just unfortunate news and you can get on with your life? Uh, I tend to get over things. Uh, I try. Um, all right. 63. When you criticize, do you at the same time try to encourage? Yeah, yes, because that's the way I would like things done. Instead of just cutting someone down, you know, build them up a little too. Give them some ideas. Don't just bitch and complain. Give them something to work with. Yeah. All right. 64. Are you normally considered cold? Well, once again, that's a projection question. Considered implies that somebody's doing the considering besides me. I don't fucking know. I'm going to have to say, I don't know. If I got any friends watching, uh, leave, leave the answer in the comment section. That's uh, uh, 64. Am I cold? <laughs> I don't know. 65. I don't do projection. Uh, are your opinions insufficiently important to tell other people? Uh, no. <laughs> Some of them might be. Uh, then I don't tell people. Otherwise, eh. Uh, yeah, my opinions are sometimes important. And in that case, I insist on being heard. All right. That yeah, figures. That kid's climbing the trees behind me. All right. Fuck it. All right. 66. Are you so self-assured? And it sometimes annoys others. I thought this was about having more self-assurance. Now you make it sound like a bad thing. Um, I sometimes annoy others. I don't know if it's from being so self-assured. Uh, that kind of makes me... This sort of implies uh, being pompous or arrogant or something. I don't think I am. Uh, but since this is another projection question... I'll have to defer to others, you know. What do you guys think? What do you think of me? <laughs> yeah. All right, 67. Do you keep close contact on articles of yours which you have loaned to friends? Uh, not really. Hey, stuff is just stuff. It is, you know. I mean, the Buddha says that your possessions can own you. So, eh, I'm a pretty giving guy, I think, and to friends and such, people in need. All right. <laughs> 
68. Do you enjoy activities of your own choosing? Yes, that's why I choose them, because I enjoy them. <laughs> 69. Does emotional music have quite an effect on you? Yeah, it does everybody, I think. That's why it's emotional music. <laughs> yeah, even church music. And I'm not a church kind of guy, but sometimes it's like... <sighs> It's a love song of sorts, you know, to some dead guy, you know, who's supposedly still alive, I guess, and we eat his flesh in cracker form. <laughs> uh, you know, that's all emotional, though, I mean, and I'm an emotional guy, I mean, movies, you know, stories, um, yeah. We love to be affected emotionally. I mean, unless there's something wrong with you. That's why we do these things, to invoke emotion. Music and art and all. Okay. Okay. Lost my place, sorry. Um, 70. Do you completely condemn a person because he is a rival or an opponent in some aspect of your relations with him? No. People can disagree with me. They can even be a rival. It's all right. As long as they don't try to hurt me or something. No, you know, I don't do that. I don't, like, cap on people and um, tear them down if I can help it. You know, at least I, I haven't. All right. 71. Do you often sit and think about death, sickness, pain, and sorrow? No. Sometimes I do it standing up. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't... Sometimes I think about those things. They're a part of life. <laughs> part of the end of the life. But I don't, like, obsess and dwell on it. I'm a, de I'm a person who has problems with, you know, chronic depression, so I... I I'd rather not go down that road. I, I acknowledge sickness, death, and all that stuff, but I don't dwell on it. Yeah, rather not. All right. 72. Are you perturbed at the idea of loss of dignity? Perturbed, huh? Mm -hmm. No. I'm not crazy about a loss of dignity, but you know, I mean, how can you lose dignity if you have it? You know, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, I guess if somebody tarred and feathered me, that would be pretty, um, that might um, agitate me a bit. That would be undignified, you know. Just ask Joseph Smith. Oh, that's right, he's dead. But anyway, yeah, being tarred and feathered would suck, and that'd be undignified. Otherwise, I could take a joke. It doesn't hurt too much. All right. 73. Are you always collecting things which might be useful? Yeah, I have a tendency to hoard. And I'm working on it. I've actually been donating stuff to the Goodwill and uh, collecting less things lately. I've done some thinking about that. And uh, I got too much stuff. So I've been getting rid of a lot of it. Because I don't need that much. Yeah. But you know, you get rid of something later on, you might need it. It's a sickness. It's called hoarding. It sucks. Alright. 74. Would you criticize faults and point out the bad points on someone else's character or handiwork? Yeah. Hey, I've... You know, I've had to train people on the job, and if they didn't do it right, I get on them about it. And, but then I show them the right way to do it again. Eh, I mean, I don't just tear people down all the time. Sometimes something might not thrill me, and I might just go, Oh, yeah, that's really, really nice. And then other times I'll just tell them the truth. You know, hey, man, I kind of, it's kind of lame there. <laughs> How's that? All right. So, yes, yeah, sometimes I do that.
I don't know. I don't. I don't really go after people's character as much. But I mean, you know, if they did a lousy job, I'm going to tell them, hey, that that was lame. That sucked. Do it over. Okay. Seventy-five. Are you openly appreciative of beautiful things? Oh yes. I love them. Seventy-six. Do you sometimes give away articles which are strictly, which strictly speaking, do not belong to you? Fuck no. That's a fucked up thing to do, and I, I don't do fucked up things like that. I don't give away something that doesn't belong to me, and I don't take shit that doesn't belong to me. Okay. Seventy-seven. Do you greet people effusively? Uh, no, but I try to be courteous. I try to be upbeat. Even if I'm not feeling it, I still try to come across as upbeat and positive. And sometimes I'll even trick myself into starting to feel that way when I'm not. So it's worth doing. Yeah, keep it positive, folks. All right. I lost my place, sorry. Uh, 78. Do you often ponder on previous misfortunes? Mm, it happens. Sometimes I think about shit that I... Decisions that I didn't care for, that I wish I had done differently and stuff, but... Uh, do I often do it? Uh, often. Mm, I guess not often. I do it sometimes. How's that? Sometimes I think, man, that thing I did a long time ago, I wish I'd done it this way. Damn it! Okay? All right. Seventy-nine. Are you sometimes considered forceful in your actions and opinions? Am I considered this by other people? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what other people think about me. And you got a lot of questions in this questionnaire that are asking me to project into someone else's mind. And um, maybe that's a skill I need to develop. Didn't realize it. I don't know what other people think. Don't get too concerned about it either. Too busy taking care of my own business. All right. Eighty. Do you accept criticism easily and without resentment? Eh, sometimes. Sometimes I don't take it very well. It just depends on if I agree with that criticism. And I'm an honest and open-minded guy, so I mean, if I fuck up, I'll admit it. And if somebody has a good idea or a good point, I'll hear it. So... I resent it if someone's just like tearing me down for no good reason. But I don't know, maybe not that much even. You know, the insults of strangers really don't mean anything to me. So, uh, I guess not, maybe. I don't know. I hadn't thought about it. I think when I was younger, I had more resentment towards criticism. These days, I just like, Psst, you got a right to your opinion there. All right. Okay. 81. Are you usually undisturbed by noises off? That's in quotations. Noises off. Does that mean silence? Noises off. Mute? Muted? I don't know. It says noises off. When you are trying to rest. Could You mean if it's too quiet? Or noises off? Does that mean noises off in the distance? Uh, hey, sometimes I'm bothered by things. I don't know. I wake up a lot at night. I don't know what did it. Maybe it's the quietness. You know, I, I go up to my mom's place on Mount Hope, and it's awfully quiet up there. And sometimes I wake up a lot because of that. Because the slightest noise stands out. 
instead of that white noise of the drone of the city that just goes on and on. And uh, not really bothered by it, I guess, but I don't know. I don't know. When I'm trying to rest, I'm usually... I think too much noise would bother me more than a lack of it. If I'm trying to rest. 82. Are you likely to be jealous? I don't like that feeling of jealousy, so I try not to be. You know, if I'm with somebody and they don't want to be with me anymore, rather than get jealous and try to force the thing, I'm willing to move on. If it can't be fixed, fuck it, I'm done. I don't get all obsessed. Not anymore, anyway. I don't know. I don't get that hung up. Um, so, I don't think I get that jealous anymore. It's a, it's a human emotion, but I don't care for it. And I hate it when people do that jealousy thing on me, too. But, no. It's human. 83. Do you tend to put off doing things and then discover it is too late? I don't often do that, but I've done it, I guess. Not often. So I guess no. <laughs> Since you said often. I do it sometimes, though. Should have said, do you do that sometimes? Then I might have answered differently. But no, I don't do it often. All right. 84. Do you prefer to abide by the wishes of others rather than to seek to have your own way? Wow, that's a choice. Um, I go with the flow, you know. I mean, I like to have my way, but I'm not a complete selfish person, you know. Uh, I guess we'll do that maybe in the middle thing there. Okay. 85. Do you find it easy to get yourself started on a project? Sometimes. If I'm eager to start, then it's easy. If I'm dreading it, it's like, all right, let's do this. But sometimes I start things right away, too, because I just want to get it over with. So, yeah, I guess it's easy to start a project. Okay. 86. Do you bite your fingernails or chew the end of your pencil? I haven't done that in years. I used to bite my nails to the bloody stump. Then I started painting the stuff on them for a while to that tasted like shit, and I got out of the habit of biting my nails. And then I stopped putting that shit on my fingernails. I, so, no, not anymore. I used to chew on uh, my fingers. Just chew them down to the cuticle. But, not anymore. Now I gotta remember to clip them. All right, which is fine. 87, do you turn up the volume of your emotion? just to create an effect? Yeah, I guess so. Once in a while, when I want to create an effect. Like doing a video, I might, all right, let's get built up here. <laughs> so yeah, I guess you get mentally ready. But that's like to do a video though. I mean, do I do that all the time? No, uh, once in a while, I guess. All right. 88. If we were invading another country, would you feel sympathetic towards the towards conscientious objectors in that country? Uh, if I knew about them, I guess, sure. I'd be like, oh man, that sucks, dude. Or people. Uh, yeah, I guess I might. Depends on the nature of the invasion. I haven't liked any of the invasions we've done so far. All right. 89. Are there some things about yourself on which you are touchy? Uh, I guess, maybe. Uh, well, my hair's falling out. That doesn't really bother me. Just wish it wasn't. Uh, I got too many moles. I don't like that. I'm kind of embarrassed about those. They, I think they make me ugly when I'm naked. Lucky for you, you don't have to see it. Um, 
Maybe that. I don't know. What else? Let's see. Uh, I'm not the brightest guy in the world. I get touchy if people call me stupid. But then again, I consider the source. You know, so... I don't know if I even get touchy about that. Sometimes I just laugh it off. I don't care. Yeah, that's an interesting question. I sh should have paid attention. When I have I been touchy lately? Not really. I don't get that touchy these days. So, and I got lots of practice being insulted on YouTube. <laughs> I get lots of trolls that like to tell me I'm stupid and a freaking idiot and all that. And that doesn't really bother me. I guess so. I guess I'll have to take that back. I guess I used to be bothered by things like that, and now I'm not so bothered by much of anything. All right. 90. Do you have few interests and activities that are of your own choice? Hmm. Um depends. I mean, sometimes I, there's things I gotta do that aren't really my idea, but, you know, I choose to do them, though, so, yeah. I'm used to doing what I want most of the time, too. I mean, when I'm not, you know, at the job, working, you know, that's where, that's, you know, you gotta go to, go and do a job, you know, get paid. All right. 91. Do you ever get a single thought which hangs around for days? Days, huh? No, not that long, but I mean, I do have thoughts that hang around sometimes. Yeah. A uh, little bit of an OCD go thing going on there. But no, not for days, really. Um, 92. Are you a slow eater? I sure as hell am. Some people think that's pretty funny. I mean, I end up the last one at the dinner table eating cold food because I just slow eater. My grandmother was from Boston, and she really hammered into my head that chew your food. I think I used to inhale it before then, but after that, I turned into a slow eater. Um, yeah, I'm a slow eater. So, and sometimes, most of the time, but sometimes I can really pack it down there. All right. 93. Can you be a stabilizing influence when others get panicky? Yeah, I've done that. Sure. You know? I've, I've been in a lot of crises, you know? <laughs> and, yeah, I, you just got to make sure everything, you know, is taken care of and you got to look out for people. Um, so, yeah, I can do that. 94. Would you stop and find out whether a peace person needed help even if they had not directly asked for it? Hmm. I've done that in the past. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah. We used to do things like that, you know. So, I guess I'll say maybe. Depends. I mean, I like to think I'll help people, but then again, sometimes... You know, you just got to take care of your own business. 95. Are you prejudiced in favor of your own school, college, club, or team, etc.? Uh, I don't have any of those things right now, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be. Um, nah. All right. 96. Do you pay your debts and keep your promises when it is possible? Fuck yeah, that's how you do it in this country. Unless you want to get buried in debt. I have no more debt. I'm completely debt free. I got one credit card and I only use it once in a while. And I pay it off immediately. I've gotten pretty good about all this. So, uh, yeah. 97. Do you sleep well? I sure as shit don't. Uh, especially this time of year. Uh, I sleep better in the springtime. Isn't that weird? During the winter, I get the seasonal affective disorder. I wake up a lot. Um, eh, I get moody. And I haven't been sleeping too good lately. So, no, I don't. 98. 
Would you use corporal punishment on a child age 10 if it refused to obey you? I don't think so. I, um, I don't have kids, but I've got nephews and nieces, and I've had to house sit for like weeks at times in the past, and I've never spanked any of them. I believe in timeouts. I think they work just fine. As a matter of fact, my nephew used to say, Are you sure you'd rather just spank me? It was worse for him to have to be in his room for 10 minutes. With <laughs> 10 minutes of time out was hell for him. He'd rather just have a, a good spanking, except I knew it messed me up worse. And I don't want to hit a kid. Um, 99. Do you prefer to take a passive role in any club or organization in which you belong? Yeah, I don't really want... I'm not a big joiner. I don't really want to run things, um, eh. and I don't, like I said, I don't join a club. I wouldn't be a, a member of a club that would have me. This one would have me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, 100. This is the last one for this video. Are you logical and scientific in your thinking? Eh, no, but I wish I was. Wouldn't that be cool? Um, no, I'm more of an emotional person, I admit it. All right, that's all i got time for right now. It's getting cold again, and the sun's starting to drop. And uh, I hope this was interesting for you. These are some pretty fucked up questions, aren't they? <laughs> all right, we're halfway there. And uh, thanks for watching. And stay tuned. Peace. Fuck. Out. What it is you're having, and uh, don't surrender your mind to any cults, because they don't have your best interests. <laughs>